Hi guys, my name is Megan and welcome to my channel. I am an intuitive empath and energy healer and this is going to be a pick a card reading about what has shifted in your life regarding the lunar eclipse that we just had and the full moon in Scorpio. So there are three different piles to choose from. The first pile is rose quartz. The second pile is Labradorite. And the third pile is Amethyst. I'll give you guys a moment to meditate on the cards and I'll see you in the reading. Hi guys, if you chose pile one, you chose the rose quartz crystal and this is your reading. Before we get into these cards, I want to pull an overall card from this deck or actually two, I'm going to pull two cards to see what is the overall energy shift that we are feeling with you guys. So what is overall energies that have shifted for pile one with the solar lunar eclipse? Sorry, the solar Scorpio full moon and the lunar eclipse that just happened. What is the major energy shift that we are experiencing? So we have the burning bowl ritual. So I'm gonna set that there. I'm gonna pull one more. Oh, all right. And we also have Create art. So I'm actually going to move these cards really quick and just set these cards down here for you guys to look at closer as I read into them. So with the card on the left, the Burning Bowl Ritual, what I'm feeling with that is that you guys are being inspired to manifest right now during this shift. It's like something has shifted within you. Um, I feel like some of you might have been doing some manifestation work during this full moon. And if you haven't done it, we are, let's see, what am I filming? I think I'm filming this on the 16th today. Let me just check. Yeah. May 16th, so you're still in good timing if you haven't done any ritual work as far as like manifestation work or candle work, um, like spells, like, you know, writing out what you want and lighting a candle and letting it burn out for what you want to manifest. You can still do that now because the energy of the moon five, the energy of the eclipse and the moon five days before and five days after the actual day you can still use that energy from that actual day. So even though the moon happened on today, I think the full moon happened today, the 16th, and yesterday the 15th was the lunar eclipse. So even though you're probably watching this past that, you can still use the energy of those days um, and manifest. So I would highly recommend you go and manifest with you know writing out scripting what do you want to manifest? Uh, write it down and really put all your five senses into it. What do, you, um, what do you see? What do you smell? What do you hear? What do you feel? All of the five senses, okay? Put it into your script. And then you can also see on here how it says let go. She's writing down what she wants to let go. I also recommend you guys write down what you want to remove from your life and burn it. After you write it down, burn it in a fire, like you can do this outside, like in a bowl, do it safely, obviously. Don't do it inside your house. 
and you you could also write it down and rip up the paper and throw it in a trash can outside of your home because you don't want that energy to still be in your energetic space so yeah however you're called to do it guys working with crystals scripting um, using the energy of fire to manifest so you know like the candle work you can write on the outside like a candle here you can write on the outside of a candle like a tea light or something abundance or love or whatever and you can let that burn you can use as many candles as you want obviously and you know hold it in your hands and just be like let's just do this together you could hold it in your hands and be like my intention for this manifestation is to call in the energy of love and you can write it on there and then say and so it is and light the candle let it burn out and there you go it's as simple as that and it's all about believing in the energy that it's happening and once the flame burns out you know that the universe has taken that order from you and is going to go to work with it so that is what i'm feeling for that and then with this card create art so i don't know if you guys chose this pile you guys could be artists you could be creators you could be musicians um, you could even be like digital programmers, like app developers. I'm seeing like technological art creativity, like um, maybe graphic artists, something along those lines. And also, you know, just your generic art, you know, working with your hands, however you work with your hands to create magic, your own magic, like through painting, drawing, um, sculptures, um, you know, pottery, sewing, fabrics um however it comes to you whatever is like a creative outlet of yours if you do it for a hobby or a business spirit is really saying something has sh something has shifted within you with this full moon and lunar eclipse you know see the moon in there it's something has shifted where your creative outlet is going to be stronger right now you're going to be able to channel the energy from spirit into your artwork and create some beautiful artwork and beautiful magic. It's like the energy coming through your hands is going to be like magic. And you're going to be able to create this beautiful art that people are going to really enjoy. And I also feel like it's going to be something that maybe you transition into as far as like if you're doing it as a hobby. I think that something has shifted in you deep enough to where you could turn this into a business if you wanted to because you're that gifted. Let me just see if I can move these down because I don't like how out of frame they are. All right, so let's see what we have in the cards. So we have great, I don't know if you can see that. It says great mother, or the great mother, surrender to the mastery, fall into her arms. So, I don't know if you can see that. Our work is very dark on here, but there is a face within the bottom of this with magic. So it's like something has seeded within you during this, you know, something has shifted within you and it's like you guys are getting like these intuitive thoughts to be creating your own magic. You know, um, it's about surrendering to the mystery of it all. So whatever comes to you, don't doubt it don't dismiss it just accept it and know that there's a reason why that information is coming to you or there's a reason why that idea has come to you and mother earth is helping you too so i feel like if you are a creative you know artist or whatever that like does painting or drawing try to create outside if you can like use the energy of mother earth and like go outside and paint or draw or if you're a musician, maybe go outside and try to write songs or try to play, you know, your musical instrument outside. Really allow the energy of Mother Earth to inspire you and to help like, it's like, I'm seeing like Mother Earth's energy is able to help balance the energies within you to help give you more inspiration, more creative energy. So falling into her arms and allowing this creative energy to just like flow through you is what I'm feeling with that. And then we have healing is happening. So you're not broken, trust the process, it's safe to soften. So I feel like this energy that just happened has shifted you guys in a way where your heart chakra is opening, your higher heart chakra is opening, you are blossoming, you are awakening those energies within that maybe have been dormant. I feel like a lot of you, your heart chakra 
Um, both of them, the higher heart and the heart chakra has been closed off, has been blocked. And the sad situation about that is, you guys, when your heart chakra is closed off, your creative flow is blocked. You're not able to create. So the highest energy that we can master in this lifetime is the energy of love. And when you are in the energy of love, you are in the energy of the light and the source creator energy, the highest love and light energy. So when you're in the flow of that energy, the creative flow is like never ending. It's un it's unfathomable about it's unfathomable about how much creative energy you can have once you open this heart chakra. It just literally is like a stream flowing down through these rocks. It just an endless flow of creative energy is what I'm feeling. You guys are like opening the floodgates once you open that heart chakra. So something is shifting within you and it's about you know, going back to this card, letting go. So writing what you want to let go of, going into your manifestation work, your candle work, your spell work, however it resonates for you. And, you know, calling out to the universe what you want to release and what you want to call in because, you know, it's, it's like you're not broken, you never were. You just had to go through this shift. You had to go through these challenges. You had to go through this healing. It's like you're in a healing phase. And some of the greatest art, the, in the history of man, some of the greatest art was created during the most challenging times for the artist, right? Like, look at Picasso, look at um, Jim Morrison, look at all these creators that were really challenged, um, you know, in their lives. And like Nirvana, like all these people, they were so challenged, but yet they created amazing art, right? That we all are blessed to have in our lives, you know, they're, they're, their wounds, their healing journey that they let out through their art, we all benefited from in some way. Um, you know, if you don't resonate with those people, there's other artists out there that have wrote books or whatever, have let their art speak through them and let their soul, their heart chakra open and just be vulnerable. It's also about being vulnerable and letting the world see the real authentic you and being unapologetically authentic during this time because healing is happening to you. And so allow the healing to flow through you and allow it to go into your art because you're gonna create some beautiful things with that. And then we have morning dew, clarity, a fresh start, a positive outlook. So this is about, I feel this energy is shifting like, you know, a lot within you. And once you go through this healing, it's like emerging these lower vibrational energies to the surface they're cleansing and purging out of you you are releasing and letting go of what no longer serves you so that you can seed in more light more creative energy more clarity to help you on this new path to help open up these doors of opportunity to help you with that fresh start that new outlook on life in a positive way because it's like look at the transition you were in this darker energy and then look at the light that's coming in just look at that. Look at that transition of color. It's like dark to lighter, you know? You're purging, you're releasing, you're healing. And then we have healing the mother line, healing ancestral work, mother line, growing up. So if you chose this pile, you guys are going through a major healing right now. Healing of the heart, healing of the divine feminine energies that were suppressed within you. Um, you're healing Mother Earth as well, because as we heal ourselves and purge these lower vibrational energies, we shift into a higher vibrational consciousness. You guys are shifting into a higher vibration, which in turn, when you shift, you help other people shift. And we, it's like once one person shifts, it's like popcorn. It just literally, all these people start waking up and start healing and start, you know, going and doing their shadow work. It's like you guys are going within and doing shadow work i feel through this shift it's uh it's time it's time to do the healing for the ancestral work and if you chose this pile you were incarnated i feel you incarnated to heal the ancestral bloodline in your family to heal the wounds and traumas within your bloodline that have have been plaguing your bloodline for generations like you're healing the wounds and traumas of your past ancestors that they weren't able to do it's like they kept carrying on the wounds and traumas but you're here to you're here to break the chain you're here to heal those wounds and break the chain and to allow your creative energy to flow through you and use those wounds and those pains and create beautiful things for this planet. And your artwork, I feel, is going to be very healing. Whatever you do creative-wise is going to be very healing to other people. 
and it's going to help um, awaken the divine feminine in them. It's going to help to, you know, mature these souls that see your artwork. I feel it's going to help mature them. It's helping, you know, the planet awaken to more maturity. Like, we were all very immature for a very long time, very in our ego, but now it's about growing up and stepping into our divinity. So, wow, that's a huge energy shift, you guys. Like, good, good job. Like, you guys are on your way. You're on your way to healing amazing um deeper deeper like lifetimes of uh, bloodline your bloodline is like your your ancestors i feel like they're clapping at you right now like your ancestors are like applauding you for your work like well done like you you are doing amazing work for your bloodline and your children's children's children are going to be affected positively by the healing that you've done in this lifetime it's like you're breaking those chains and the challenges and the pains that you've gone through are not in vain this is a huge purpose that you've come in with and you're healing yourself and you're healing others through your creative work so wow this is huge energy so yeah go out there and create go out there and manifest do your little um, ritual work that you have to do. Still use and harness the energies of the lunar eclipse and the full moon. And wow, you have big things coming for you guys. So just let it flow and let it go. All right, those are your messages. I'm sending you so much positive energy. If you resonated with this, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. And I'll see you in another video. Bye, guys. Hi, guys. If you chose pile two, you chose the Labradorite. And this is your reading set that right there so before we get into these cards i want to pull two overall cards for the energies of what has shifted with you guys for this lunar eclipse and full moon in scorpio what has shifted for pile two what is the overall energy shift that has happened so we have write a gratitude list I'm going to get one more card here. And we also have spend time with animals. All right, so let's go into this first card so with this card I am feeling with this this is um, actually kind of a similar message that came through for pile one so with the moon we are I'm filming this on the 16th and you're probably gonna see this video very soon I'm gonna try to get it out ASAP so with the moon energy and the lunar eclipse the energy five days before and five days after you can actually still harness the energy of it so I'm feeling that spirit is asking you to write a gratitude list of all the things that you're grateful for and to call in and manifest what you want. You can do candle work, you can use crystals, you can use um, scripting, you know, just writing out like with using your, your five senses. Um, what do you see? What do you taste? What do you smell? What do you hear in your future, you know, whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, like use all of your five senses when you're scripting or writing it out and really feel it in your heart, really call that in. And then you can also use um, a gratitude list of like, you know, what you're grateful for to call in the energy of gratitude and just look at it every single day moving forward to remind you of what you have rather than going into that lack mentality of what you don't have. And you can actually use candle magic too. Like you can, um, before you light a candle, like a tea light, you can write like love or abundance or whatever it is you're trying to manifest and hold it and really center in your heart and call in the energy of that and just say, you know, I am using and setting the intention that this will bring love into my life and so it is and you light the candle, let it burn out and really believe that it's coming to you. So that's what I'm feeling with that. And then we have spend time with animals. So I don't know if you guys chose this pile if you have pets, even if you don't have pets, look outside your window there's going to be birds there's going to be some sort of nature or you know wildlife that you can tap into and you can be at one with you don't have to actually touch physically the animal you can actually just 
see the animal or ask spirit to send you animals so that you can feel their energy of calm, of peace. Um, Mother Nature sends her creatures to us in our times of need. So I'm feeling that there's something calming about the energy of animals and spirit really wants you to, you know, start looking outside your window, just be out and about in nature as much as you can and really be at one with the energy of animals at this time because they're going to help calm you. They're going to help you know, bring in a higher vibration to help remove and purge certain energies from you that are probably holding you down a little bit. So we have the Holy Grail, Stop the Endless Searching, Inner Quest. So it doesn't surprise me that you guys chose Labradorite Crystal because this is all about psychic abilities and magic. So I feel like you guys are blossoming and opening up to higher levels of consciousness. You're going through a spiritual awakening right now. You are... Um, it's like spirit is drawing my attention to the fact that maybe you guys have been looking outside yourselves for the answers and it's about now is the time to go within. Now is the time to really go within and do the shadow work use mother nature to help heal you you know look at the animals on the card look at the flower look at the nature really spend your time in mother nature and start going within going within and meditating and you know getting higher wisdom animals are very in tune with um, the spirit world and that's why you're being called to go in nature and to be around them so that they can help you with that energy of tuning in and tapping in and going within and it's about remembering that it's not with it, it's not about looking outside of yourself for the answer because the, it's all about going within and finding the answer. Okay, what else do we have? We have held sureness of the soil, unseen help, support community. Yeah, so again, we have that word soil going back to nature. I really feel that if you guys have grass outside your house or if you live near the ocean or um, you have some sort of nature where you can walk barefoot in the soil, in the dirt, in the grass, in the sand, walking nature, walking in nature barefoot is going to be very healing for you. It's going to help ground your energy. It's going to help remove those negative, sorry, excuse me, remove the positive ions because the positive ions we develop from the stresses of life and nature is off-putting negative ions to counteract those positive ions. I know it sounds backwards, but it's not. Nature gives negative, which is actually a good thing. Um, just research it if you don't believe me. So it's about allowing spirit to hold you through these times, through this shift, because you guys are going through an awakening. You're going through a spiritual awakening. Your spirit is being cracked open. Your heart is being cracked open. Your higher heart, your heart chakra is blossoming. It's opening. And actually, I feel like you guys might resonate with pile one. So go check that out if you were struggling between the two in one pile. Um, it's about awakening the magic within. Spirit is sprinkling this like fairy dust on you to help like awaken you, to help you fly. Like they're showing me the scene from Peter Pan when the pixie, um, what is her name, Tinkerbell, uses her dust and sprinkles it on people. And it's about envisioning what you want and thinking happy thoughts that really helps you fly. And Spirit is helping seed in this wisdom and this magic. It's like they're sprinkling magical dust on you to help you really fly through this energy shift that you've had and they're holding you through it you know it's like knowing that you have the support knowing that you are being held by spirit and having un, um, unlimited faith and trust in the universe right now and in yourself and knowing that you are okay you are being held mother mary's energy is coming forward right now too i'm seeing this old wise woman but I feel that that's Mother Gaia and also Mother Mary in one. It's like their energies have combined in this card and really feel the energy coming through this card because they are holding you like a mother would hold you and cradle you at this time. And they're helping you. They're seeding in this magic. Just remember that. They're giving you the fairy dust to really soar through this energy shift. And we have the reunion, soul recognition, collaboration, partnership, and friendship. 
So through this awakening, I feel like you guys are going to be removing a lot of people in your life. Um, you're going to start seeing a lot of people fall away. Um, a lot of things that are a vibrational match to you in your past energy is no longer going to be a match to you moving forward from today moving forward. So you're going to start recognizing as you shift into a higher level, as you calibrate your energy, um, you're going to start collaborating with the universe to bring about these new soul beings into your life that are a vibrational match to the new energy shift within you and you're going to have lovers i feel for those of you that are single fear not there's going to be a really divine counterpart like mother earth um mother mary the universe that divine feminine energy is that love energy is seeding back into your life through divine counterpart relationships through friendships through soul family soul tribe it's all coming in and it's just about you doing a little bit of awakening allowing this magic to crack open within you to really start um having this shift of people start flooding into your life you know and and just go with it and flow with it don't resist it because if you resist you'll block this energy just allow what's coming up for you to purge. Allow what healing needs to take place to happen. You know, heal those emotions and move into a higher state of being, of love and light. And then we have lineage of the rose, moved by the goddess, here for this, soul call, gather. Yeah, so I feel like you guys could be um, in the near future called to certain areas where there are um, group events happening, um, collaborations going on with people where you're called to participate in these events um, I'm seeing like group meditations or like um, spiritual type events where people are called together maybe like yoga retreats something of that nature um, and it, if it, that doesn't resonate with you just something where like you and like-minded people are drawn together it could be a business uh, thing as well but it's like something about you and these like-minded people coming together and really collaborating your energies to help help humanity. I feel like you guys are being moved by this divine feminine energy and you're here for a great purpose. You are here for this. You are here for this. This is your soul calling and so it's about this awakening is calling you into your divine purpose, into your... Um, your soul calling so to speak and it's about these people they're bringing to you these relationships these friendships and you guys are doing this together and we are doing this together on the planet we are as a planet collectively awakening each individual at a time is awakening to their true their true divinity their higher purpose their soul calling and coming together and raising their vibration and shifting the planet into a higher vibration of love and light so that's really awesome energy i love seeing this for you guys and it's gonna be okay whatever you're going through awakening is not fun you guys i want to just say that it's gonna feel dark it's gonna feel ugly it's gonna feel nasty but it's so much magic on the other side of that energy so much healing and magic on the other side of that energy okay look at the magic look at the love look at the light you have to go through this awakening alone but you're not alone you know, Mother Mary is with you, the Christed energy is with you, the universe and all the di divine beings, angels, spirit guides are with you, helping you through this shift, sprinkling their fairy dust, so to speak, on you to help illuminate and awaken you to your greatest soul purpose, your true divinity as to why you have incarnated and what you're meant to do. And that's beautiful. So allow the energy to flow, allow what's purging to come forward, allow the healing you know, because you're being held through that and you will have happier days coming, I promise you. All right, so those are your messages and sending you so much positive energy. If you resonated with this, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing, and I'll see you in another video. Bye, guys. Hi, guys. If you chose pile three, you chose the amethyst, and we also have baby amethyst here on the table here. So I feel if you chose this pile, you are really um, intuitive and you are awakening deeper aspects of your um, like psychic abilities and all of that so before we get into these cards i want to pull two cards for the energies 
that are coming forward to share what has shifted for you guys with this lunar eclipse and this full moon in Scorpio. What has shifted for pile three? So we have this card. I'm going to pull one more. Oh, that one wanted to come out. All right, so we have flow like water. And we also have dream journal. Oh my goodness, there's literally the same message in every single pile, you guys. So everybody is being called right now to use and harness the energy of the full moon. I'm filming this on the 16th, so you can still use the full moon and the eclipse energy. Um, five days before the moon or the eclipse and five days after the moon and the eclipse, you can use and harness the energy of those to help you manifest, to help you call in what you want. So I've been telling every single pile, which is a huge message Spirit is putting across the board today, to really call in what you want through scripting. So writing out what you want, using your feelings, the five senses, what do you think, what do you feel, you know, um, Write it out as if it's happened to you right now. Like, I'm so grateful that, you know, I can smell this and I see this and I feel this. Like, all your five senses call it into existence through your writing. And you can also purge and let go of what you don't need. Um, there is a meditation. I'm actually being called right now to share the meditation below that I did with Merlin. It's about manifesting your future and releasing your past. So, if you feel like you need to have a little bit of help with that, that's a really great meditation to call in your future and releasing and letting go of your past. So I'm going to put this over here because you guys can also use um, candle magic to call in your manifestations. So like a tea light, you can write um, love or abundance or whatever, like use a different tea light for each thing that you're doing or a different candle, whatever you feel called to, and you just hold it and just put the intention into it, put your energy into it and say, I um, put the intention that this is going to bring me love, really feel it, really believe it, and then you light the candle and let it burn out completely and know and trust and believe that that is coming to you. And then we also have flow like water. Flow like water. So spirit is saying to really just flow with the energy that's coming for you right now. I feel you guys, if you chose amethyst, are also maybe going through a little bit of rocky territory, a little bit of darker energies, purges, intense energies. We all on the planet are going through this, but I feel you guys maybe are feeling like you're drowning a little bit and it's about flowing with the energy. Don't resist it. Don't fight it like a fish going upstream. Just allow the universe, sorry, allow the universe to take you where it wants to take you and flow with it and go with it. Don't resist it. Don't fight it because if you resist, you're going to be more tired. You're going to be more exhausted. And you're going to be trying to go in a direction that spirit doesn't want you to go energetically. So just release and let it go and let the emotions that are coming up for you at this time, really let them purge out, cry them out, scream them out, do whatever you need to to release those energies because you're purging and shifting a lot right now with this new moon. Sorry, full moon. And then we have the rose garden innocence forgiveness be gentle with yourself so yeah this is about releasing the old letting go of all the past trauma letting go of all those that have hurt you um, really forgiving all of your past offenders and just coming to a higher perspective you know amethyst crystal is about intuition so this shift is actually helping you guys to see things from a higher light to really understand that those that have hurt you in the past actually was a blessing in disguise. It moved you out of rocky territory. It moved you into better territory. Um, you know, like this water right here, they're showing me like somebody drifting on a boat into better territory, better waters. You know, it's like spirit wanted to move you into a better water, um, a better territory. And this energy shift is helping you do that. But these past wounds and pains, you have to let them go and forgive them and realize that we're all children of the divine. We are all innocent by nature. Our truest nature is innocence and love. So 
to forgive those you forgive yourself because you yourself are not perfect in this life nor have you been in other lives so we all play a part we all play a role when we incarnate and we also incarnate to help teach each other lessons and to bring ourselves to a higher awakening a higher consciousness and you know forgive forgive yourself and forgive others and be gentle with yourself at this time have patience with yourself so we have breathing sorry the breathing rose heart healing emotions connection time eases yeah so your heart is opening your higher heart and your heart chakra everybody's higher heart and heart chakra i feel in all three of these pals this is happening um you're being awakened and cracked open it's like this trauma this pain these wounds is awakening you and bringing you to a higher consciousness and removing these darker energies it's like you're purging out and singeing out like there's a fire illuminating within you with the light coming in from spirit that is burning away and clearing away all of these lower vibrations all of these past wounds all of these past traumas you're healing your heart you're healing your emotions and you're connecting with your divine source your divinity your true authentic nature um, and the light within that's coming within you're able to connect with spirit a lot stronger through this shift i feel so time eases all and just really go back to that flow that flow state mentality of like this too shall pass and i will get through this it's not fun right now but on the other side of this energy it's better yeah the bloom you guys are like the butterfly you're turning into a butterfly you're in the cocoon right now going through these shifts and these changes these upgrades these spiritual upgrades and creations realized right time harvest celebrate so celebrate the light that is awakening you celebrate the challenges that have shown you something or taught you something celebrate all of the wounds and the traumas and the pains that have led you to this point in time of realizing a higher purpose a higher divinity that is seeding within you that is helping to awaken you um i also feel like some of you i'm getting this weird message right now just by looking at this card back here they're telling me that some of you were merman or were, um, mermaids or mermen in past lives and to be around water right now is going to be so soothing for your soul so spiritual baths take um if you're feeling you know really heavy energies take a salt bath there's a lot um what is it lavender epsom salts at the grocery store you can get lavender epsom salts and put that in your bath water use your crystals put amethyst crystals in the tub with you and ask spirit to cleanse you and to remove the lower vibrations or the anxieties or whatever it is that you're feeling is coming up for you to help calm down your spirit and to help bring you back into that flow and to help you blossom i have been taking so many spiritual baths i swear i take a spiritual bath every day because the energy is so intense so um it's all about it's all about um releasing the energy and allowing the new light to uh, flow in and awaken and blossom and open you up to these higher thoughts these higher energies of love and light are awakening you to your higher purpose they're seeding in creative ideas um, and really start creating um, if you feel called 11 11 on the clock i have an alarm every day set for 11 11 on the clock to help remind me of my manifestation so i feel that alarm went off to help you remember what it is you're trying to call in and actually i can't remember if i said it in this video or the other one but i did a guided meditation with merlin the wizard who walks you through in that meditation how to clear the past and call in your future it's a really profound meditation and um, I, i'll link it below because i feel that would help you guys a lot to help you know clear the past and help purge these energies and help bring in the magic bring in the celebration energy of what you want to call in to bring in your harvest you know through divine timing it's like believe in the magic of yourself believe in the magic of life believe in the magic of the universe and really blossom and open up to the ideas that you have really blossom with the ideas that spirit is giving you you know if you're being guided to start a business trust in that if you're being guided to quit your job trust in that if you're being guided to get into a relationship with this person who maybe you know isn't your type trust in that 
just have trust in yourself and allow the awakening and the blossoming to take place because it's bringing you to a new place, a new energy, a better energy. We are nature, becoming grounded, embodiment, living in connection. So this is about getting back to mother nature, being more in mother nature. Her negative ions really help you at this time. So if you are feeling anxious, if you are feeling depressed, if you are feeling sad, going out and I'm, <laughs> you know that saying tree hugger? They get a bad rap. Well, I'm sorry to say, but really if you hug a tree, you do feel better. Go try it out. Trust me on this. Go hug a big tree and feel the wisdom of that tree. Feel the loving and calming, peaceful energy the tree is offering you. You know, be at one with nature. Look at the animals. Um, go walk barefoot on the sand if you live by the ocean. Walk barefoot in the grass at a park. Whatever it is, go be with nature and allow the energy to just really clear and purge away all the darker thoughts. Help seed in the light. Being in the sunshine is very important for you at this time. If you don't have sunshine, any way you can just be outside and get a little bit of sun rays would be really helpful because the energy of the sun also clears away depression and darker energies and helps, you know, illuminate more light within you. And these light codes that are coming from the sun are awakening more to you. So it's like the more you go in the sun, I feel, the more wisdom you have, the more ideas that are going to come to you. It's like those ideas that we get when we're in the shower. It's the same for you in the sun. More ideas come to you when you walk in the park or when you you know, take a walk around your neighborhood and be in nature. Um, if you don't have nature around you, go drive somewhere where you can be in nature. Just be re really be in nature at this time. I feel that's going to help you a lot. It's going to ground you. You know, It's going to help bring you back to your divinity, your source connection. Because when you feel lower vibrations, you're out of your alignment with source. So getting back in nature brings you back into alignment, allowing the sunshine in. Open your windows and curtains in your windows. Allow the fresh air, allow the sun to come in, to clear away. Also saging. They're telling me saging um, or using incense that clears away lower vibrational energy. Do that on every time you start to feel a heaviness. Do and clear the energy. You can also use lemons, like setting out lemons to help clear the energy. Look up different ways to clear negative energy in your home and uh, see what resonates for you. You can also use a lot of crystals. I have crystals galore in my home. So yeah, it's about clearing these darker energies and allowing this light in and you know, just really allowing yourself to blossom right now. Allow these creative ideas to come in and really trust spirit at this time and breathe through it, you guys. And um, this rose right here, is, um, they're telling me, to get rose scented candles or like rose essential oils and spray it around your home or like put it on your body and smell it because I do this a lot too and it really does calm your energy. There's something about the rose scent, something about the rose that really would be calming to your energy I feel. So go look into that, see if you can get rose scented lotion or candles or essential oils and use them daily if you're not allergic. Um, also lavender. Lavender and rose for you guys is very important, I feel. So look into that in spiritual baths and be at one with nature and go into water if you can. Your body being submerged in water, not chlorine like pools. I mean, that's okay, but really like the ocean, if you can swim in the ocean or um, in a bath, you know, like submerging your body in water. Look at how much water energy is here. There's so much nature and water energy here. I swear you guys are mermaids. <laughs> mermen and mermaids and you've also lived life on other planets where you've been a water being of some sorts i definitely feel that for you if that resonates with you um you know if it doesn't resonate with you no worries but yeah so much roses energy here too so i know this deck is all about the rose energy i think it's yeah so rose and lavender guys i'm gonna leave you with that and really call in your manifestations go watch that meditation or listen to that meditation with Merlin and start calling in your manifestations and use the energy of the moon and the lunar eclipse that just happened to really seed in your manifestations. All right, I'm going to leave you there. I'm sending you so much positive energy. If this resonated, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing, and I'll see you in another video. Bye, guys.